Hello, you beautiful people. Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back. I was really pooling. You can probably guess what it was. You know, it finally got me after two years. But let's just get on with it. So yeah, we're going to be getting back into the Powerpuff Girl reviews. If you watched yesterday's video, I did a full Simpsons reveal. I'm just going to do back to back if like Simpsons, Powerpuff Girls, Simpsons, Powerpuff Girls. So I'm getting them both up for you. And we're going to start with Bubbles, as you can probably tell by the blue light. So in Bubbles collection, we have the Bubbles palette. We also have obviously the lip gloss trio, which you can only buy as a trio. And we have her little cream, oh sorry, liquid blusher. And then I'm also today going to be trying again the mattifying primer and also going to be using the Mojo Jojo palette as well. So let's just get straight into it. If you are new here, by the way, hello, welcome. I'm Lucy Stevenson, but you can call me Luce because we're all friends here. If you are new, please don't forget to hit subscribe. We are so close now to 15,000 of us, which is unbelievable but yeah don't forget to hit subscribe like all that kind of good stuff comment down below let's have a little chit chat but let's get into it so obviously we have her little palette to begin with you all know bubbles is my favorite so i'm so excited to finally be trying this this is just what it looks like i love that it has her little pigtails in it so in this, I would have preferred, and I have said this before, if the darker one was like a really, really dark blue, or if this was like a little bit darker. Um, but anyways, you can get the full set where it includes the Bubbles eyeshadow palette, her blusher, and the lip gloss trio, and that comes to £26, or they are £8, £10, and £8. What I will say though is I do have a discount code for Revolution, so I have the code LOOSE20, so it's L-U-C-E 20, and that'll get you 20% off the UK and the US website if you live anywhere else please let me know and i can ask revolution if they can activate our code in other places too but the more that we use this code the more they'll keep reactivating it for us i don't make any commission off it it's not affiliate nothing like that it just saves us money and i think it also shows to them like how much we love revolution how much we spend so who knows what it might lead to in the future so if you do use it thank you so much but yeah let's just get straight into it let's do swatches and let's Try Bubbles collection, I'm so excited. So this is what the palette looks like swatched. Everything is really pigmented, really smooth. I do feel like that second blue and the fourth blue are quite similar. And I think because it is such a dark shimmer in there, it would have been nice to have a blue that was like that dark, but with no shimmer. So you could really add some depth to it. But yeah, that is what the palette looks like. So let's start with the palette. I'm going to pop on some of the Revolution eye base. It's just in the shade light. Oh my god, I won a giveaway. Like one of my patrons tagged me in a giveaway and we both won. And I got a voucher for Pretty Little Things. I got some more peaches and cream brushes. I've missed these so much. And when I say I've missed them, I still have them. They're just over there that need cleaning. <laughs> but I'm going to be using this peaches and cream PC18 brush. It's been a long time since I've seen one of these. I'm just going to blend all of this out. I just really need to clean all of my brushes. Mm. If you struggle with working out like what you want to do with your eyes, with a palette, do it on your hands. Like I know now that I'm going to have this on like my inner part of my eye. I'm going to go into a darker shimmer and I'm going to have this in the crease and blend it out with the lighter ones. It just gives you a chance to be able to see actually, do you know what, they do blend very easily together with my finger. I'll be able to blend them with a brush. It just, for me, who's like a visual person, I need this as like a little safety net to know what on earth I'm doing. So I just thought I'd let you know just in case anyone else is like me and brain works like very visually and need to see something. So now that I've done that and I know what I'm doing, I'm gonna go in with this darker blue to begin with. And I'm just taking a purple brush. I have no idea where like I've got this from. <laughs> so I'm gonna pack this in the crease and also in this outer corner. And I will build this up later on. I'm just gonna pack it all on where it needs to be for the moment. As always, if you have hooded eyes like me, just gonna gently lift your eye up and then put it where there's any little white lines you can see there and that'll just help to make sure that everywhere is covered. Then I'm gonna take this blue here and I'm just taking a, this is from a Revolution Pro Rockstar like Christmas collection. Honestly, the brushes and the Christmas gift sets are so good. And I'm going to use that blue to blend out that darker blue. And I'm going to pack it on quite a bit as well, just to keep the colour. And then we will go back through it anyway and deepen that blue 
back up so don't worry if like you're putting it on and it's like really covering up this um, darker blue because we'll go back in and we'll add it back don't you worry about a thing because Lucy is gonna make it all right <laughs> I'm full of tips today I feel like I just want to give it some little tips if you struggle like me and always seem to like when you want to do like a round eye always seem to like blink like bring it out too far do the darker color like so it's a little bit too far in and then obviously when you're blending it out it'll go to where it needs to be because I've been doing that recently where I've not been putting it in the right place so as you can see we've still got that color there and then I will go in in a second with an even fluffier brush this is a Morphe M441 and I'm going to take that lighter shade here and I'm just going to take this and just basically buff out that other balloon and then what I'll do is I'll go back in with all of the blues again all of the same brushes that I used and re-intensify the colours build it back up until I'm 100% happy with how intense it's looking okay so now that we're looking like this I'm really happy with how it's looking so far I'm gonna go in with t both of the but to be fair I think for this whole look I'm gonna use the full palette which is really cool so I'm gonna go in with this lighter one and then the darker one so this lighter one it looks like it's like a grey grey silver when I was swatching it it didn't look that like dark so I'm hoping that it's not gonna be too dark on my eyes oh god my contact lens went funny <laughs> so I'm just gonna tap this on I'm hoping that it's going to be pigmented enough so I didn't need to put like any other colour underneath it would make my contact lens go oh it's moved can you see yeah I'll move it back <laughs> and then I'm going to go in with the darker one these are like the darker one's so soft to the touch the other one isn't as soft and I've just put on but that one oh my god so soft and I'm going to put that so it blends into that darker blue that we put down oh got a bit of fallout so you can see with the blue because it is a little bit of a softer one it is a little bit more fallout -y, so just make sure you are going to use it that you're doing your eyes first but if I was going to use this kind of colour story I would always do my eyes first anyway so I'm just going to add some more of that deeper blue into the outer corner this is in like a really really deep blue would have just been perfect so I'm just going to add that back in re-intensify it I'll add some more of the glitter back in, blend it all out, all that kind of good stuff and then we'll come back and we'll try the blusher and the lip glosses. Actually before we do go in with the blusher and the lip glosses I'm going to take this lighter shade so now we have officially used every shade in the palette and as Alex would say this is the perfect inner corner and brow bone shade. Is this foundation too dark? Yes. Is it half eight on a Friday, good Friday, and I'm not going to be going anywhere after this? Yes. I've literally just blended it down my neck a little bit. I just want to start using up foundations, and this is one of the ones that I'm going to try and use up. This is the Wet n Wild foundation, the Photo Focus one, in Golden Beige. So let's just ignore that. Who really cares? Like I said, it's half eight on a Friday night. I will be taking this off as soon as I finish filming, so it makes no difference. Let's try the Liquid Blusher. So this is just what it looks like and this has like a puff applicator this is just what it looks like so i'm really excited to see what this blusher actually looks like let's see Ooh. okay let's do a little swatch so that's the color oh that is so pretty that's what it looks like so what we'll do is we'll actually use the applicator to apply it and we'll just start off with a little bit and then see how we get on. I'm scared. There we go. So it comes out of like three little holes. Just tap it on like that. And then we'll use a little sponge. This is one of the Coco the marshmallow sponges. Okay, it dries. <gasps> it dries really quick. Oh, tap, 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 tap. <laughs> Okay, yeah, if you're gonna apply that, it dries really quick. I'm actually gonna put some instead because that applicator is a little bit hard too. I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand and tap my sponge into it instead. Oh, this is very bubbles, like cute blush. A lot brighter than what I would normally go for. Okay, so that is what the blusher 
it's looking like so far. I'm gonna finish off the rest of my face and then we'll come back and we'll try the lip gloss because the lip gloss is also meant to be like scented as well. So I'm really excited to try that. So I'm gonna pop on just some color underneath my lid as well. So I'm just gonna go in, oh, my voice. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just gonna go in with the same brushes and the same shades. So I'm gonna start with the dark one first, then using the medium blue, and then going in with the lightest blue and then blending that out again. And then I'm gonna pop on some of the MAC Stack Mascara. This is the micro brush. I have been obsessed with this. I've got it on my top lashes as well. So for lips, I've just popped on some of the Colourpop BFF lip liner. So I'm just popping on some of Doll Beauty Four More, but mainly focusing that in the middle part. I know it looks off it at the moment. <laughs> you have to just trust the process. And then I'm gonna blend it in with the lip liner. I believe that Bubbles lip gloss is meant to be scented like blueberry. So this is just what it looks like. And it has just like a little squeezy tube applicator. Oh, it's got glitter in it. This is just what it looks like. I'm just gonna put this all over the lips, but mainly focusing it in the middle part. Oh, that is so pretty. So yeah, this is my finished bubbles look. I'd love to know what you think down below. I'll quickly just run through what's on my face just in case you're wondering. So I did try the mattifying primer again really really like this like I think even though it's mattifying and it definitely is because I tried it in the other review it's because it's so smooth it like feels like it hydrates my skin at the same time so it's perfect for my combination skin so yeah really really like that but oh, another foundation I've got on is the wet and wild one I've also tried this for the first time this is the NYX bear with me concealer serum okay it hasn't like wowed me but I need to try it a little bit more I don't know how I feel about the applicator it's like a pump I don't know how I feel about it but anyways um I've got the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour matte powder on this is actually quite light this is the shade warm vanilla and it helped to lighten up my foundation ever so slightly as well highlighter I've got on the Mojo Jojo palette I've actually got all three shades on um but mainly the pink one you can see there they are definitely like just a little bit too dark for me Bronzer, I've got on the Revolution Bronzer Reloaded in the shade Long Weekend, which just looks like this. I've only got a tiny bit of this one because obviously the foundation is so dark. I've used the e.l.f. Setting Spray from um, Revol I Heart Revolution and the e.l.f. Collection. NYX Tinted Brown Mascara in Black, MAC Stack Mascara, as you all know by now. And then obviously we have the Liquid Blusher on, the Lip Gloss the Colourpop BFF Lip Liner and the Four More Lipstick from Doll Beauty, and everything. And then the palette, obviously obviously <laughs> so yeah I'd, ooh, I'd love to know what you think down below of my bubbles look thank you so much for watching i will be back tomorrow with a simpsons summer of love collection review and then the day after i will do i think i've got bought, bought a cup for my next one and then i'll do another simpsons review and then the day after i will do blossoms collection review okay just to make sure that i'm doing both and mix and matching them for y'all okay okay if you want to see what's in the simpsons collection I will leave yesterday's video linked down below. I'm going to film it now, but you'll have seen it yesterday. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will hopefully see you soon. Love you so much. Thank you so much. Bye.